G'day guys, today we're going to be doing a char grilled ribeye fillet, creamy potato bake and char grilled Brussels sprouts. The potato bake is something I love to do when I go away with the family. It's really, really simple to do and it shows that you don't need an oven to get it all done. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, today we're going to be using my trusty cob cooker. It's something I really love to use when I go camping. It's a kettle style barbecue that you use briquettes, heat beads and the like to cook with. This gives food a beautiful, beautiful flavour. Okay, let's fire it up. Now you can use heat beads like I am today. There is cob fuel, which you can buy as well. You will need some fire lighters. I like to use these ones at the moment. They're a paraffin coated wax option. Totally waterproof. They're, they're actually a good, good sort of uh, thing to use. Now with the briquettes or the heat beads, I would probably normally put six or seven in there. Because of the steak, I really want it to get nice and hot and crusty, so I'm gonna probably put a dozen in there. Um, we'll take half an hour to fire it up though. But once it's going, it's all good. Let me just give him a light. Now the cob is going, we'll just put a lid on that and get ready just to prep the veggies. Now what you're gonna need is potatoes, Brussels sprouts, cheese and garlic, a little bit of chicken stock and some cream. Let's put that over to the side. So I'm going to grab the bowl, pop him out and then start peeling. Okay, next thing we'll do is just grab some garlic. Now you don't need to slice this really, really thin. You can use minced garlic if you like. Fresh is always better though. Okay, now we'll just grab the potatoes and just slice them probably, I don't know, five mil thick. Now we'll just lay the potatoes into the pan. It doesn't have to be exact, just try and get them flat. Bit of garlic. And just repeat the process until it's all full. I literally just put them in, spread them out flat, bit of garlic, keep going, you know, a couple of layers. Um, then I'll just make up the stock with a bit of cream, pour that in, whack it in the stove. Just scatter the last bits in, then we'll move on to the sauce. Now I'm using chicken stock, you can use the uh, liquid one if you want. I'm just gonna use water and powdered stock. Some cream. And a good grind of pepper. Just give it a little bit of a mix, which goes everywhere. Then just pour this on top. It doesn't matter if it doesn't 100% cover it, because we'll have a lid on top, which will make it steam anyway. Now this is done, we'll just get him on the stove. Okay, it's been about half an hour, so we'll just check on the coals to see how they're going. As you can see, they're starting to go that white colour. You'll still see a little bit of black under there, but as long as they're all sort of smoked up like that, they're all ready to go. Okay, we'll just get on to the Brussels sprouts now. Cut them in half and we'll just blanch them in water for probably two minutes. Just so they're going to be a little bit tender and then we'll put those on top of the grill with the steak. Now we'll just grab a pot, put that on the stove with some water so we can blanch the sprouts. Turn him on. And while we're here, we'll just check the potatoes. Yep, they've come up to a nice simmer now. So probably 15 minutes and then we'll take the lid off. So we'll move over to the cob now and put the grill plate on. Now it's a cast seal, so it's gonna take a good, probably 10 minutes to get to temp. Oh, the water's boiling now. So we'll put the sprout straight in. 
for about two minutes. Okay, we'll just check these. Yep, really nice and tender, so ready to go. So we'll just get rid of the lid and just uh, wait for it to reduce. The Brussels sprouts are also ready to go. And we'll drain them off. Okay, now, we're just going to do the steak. Now, I've got a um, ribeye here. Now, you don't need to use ribeye. You can use, honestly, any cut of meat you want. I just like these. They're just a beautiful steak. Got this one from my local butcher. The rub I'm going to use today is a new one we've got. It's the Hardcore Carnival Rub. It's a black rub, which is really good with any type of steak dish, and I'm really excited to try it and see how it goes. Okay, now I'm going to be quite liberal with this. Now it is a black rub, obviously. It's going to give it a really good crust and hopefully a ton of flavour. Now I'm just going to leave this on there for five, ten minutes just to sort of let it infuse with the meat a bit and then we'll see him straight onto the grill. In the meantime, the potatoes are looking right so we'll just get the cheese out, turn it down to low, add a decent amount of cheese and we'll just put the lid on. Now the lid's just going to help that to melt. Once that's done then we'll brown it up. Now if we move over to the steak, just going to put a little bit of oil on top, on both sides, now we're ready to go on the grill. Now we'll just grab the steak, beautiful sizzle, smells absolutely fantastic already. Now we'll just put the lid back on. And we'll probably turn it every five minutes. That looks awesome. That's got a crust already. We'll just turn the heat off. The cheese is all melted. Take the lid off. Just got a brulee torch. And we'll just give this a bit of a brown up just to make it try and look pretty. Okay, that's how to do it now. Just put the lid back on just to keep him hot. And then we'll shoot over to the steak and take it off to rest. Okay, it's all looking good now. It's, I would say it's a bit over what I want. It's probably more medium, but it's gonna be good. A bit hard to tell if you haven't had experience, but you can sort of tell from the density of the meat. When it sort of goes down about halfway, you're probably looking at around medium. Any more than that, it's gonna be medium well to well. So we'll take him off. Just put him on the board and just give it a rest for about five minutes. It just relaxes all the meat tissues and so when you actually eat it, it is nice and tender and also disperses any flavour. So any blood content in there, it just won't be bleeding. It will actually stay nice and pink. Steak's looking great now. We'll just get onto the Brussels sprouts, which I'm just gonna put onto the cob. This is just gonna heat them up and it's just gonna give them a bit more, a bit more body and flavour to be honest. Now I'll just add a little bit of salt and pepper to them. Put the lid back on, and it will probably only take about two minutes. We'll just give them a bit of a turn. Just try to get a little bit of that char grill sort of markings on them. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of butter. It's going to just give it another nice flavor and just sort of gives a little bit of sheen to them. All right, we'll just whack the lid back on. They're all right to go and we'll get on with serving the steak.
we'll just give them a slice now and serve it up. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so tender. Probably a little bit more overcooked than I want it to be, but hey, it's all good. We'll just grab the sprouts now. These are looking really nice. Got some nice char marks on them. Then we'll just grab some potato bake. Beautiful and cheesy. Then we'll just arrange a steak on there. And then we'll just add a bit of this barbecue sauce. It's a really nice smoky one. And there you have it. It took about 45 minutes to prepare and we'll just have a go at it now. Mm -mm -mm. What a mouthful, absolutely beautiful. A bit of a smoky flavor, beautiful crust on the outside, absolutely fabulous. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.